We got a good one. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Thanks to Discover Newport Chef Mark, Mark Bryson is here. Binge Barbecue is the place, and we're going to make buttermilk uh, biscuits because we're going to make the buttermilk biscuits, but we're also going to put it with some of the great barbecue that you brought in. How are you? That's it. I'm great. How are you? Dude, it smells awesome in here. That's what we're looking for. It, it really does. Yep. So can you just, before we even get to the recipe for the for the, uh, the biscuits and stuff, what do you have here? So this is the point section of the uh, brisket. We um, use uh, salt and pepper. All right. All seasoned oak wood. Mm -hmm. No gas, no electric, and we cook fresh every night. And, and how long is that going to go? So that went on about 9.30 last night. I took it out before I came up here, let it rest on the way up. Right. And now we're uh, getting our first slices of it. Yeah, man, you opened that up, and all you could smell is that great, that wood smell from, yeah. from uh, smoking that. All right, let's get to the uh, the biscuits. What do we need to put these together? So we need uh, uh, flour, baking powder, uh, kosher salt, um, a little bit of um, buttermilk and heavy cream, one egg. Mm -hmm. We mix that together just till it becomes light and shaggy. You don't want to work the biscuits too much. Because you want it to have a little air inside exactly, of it, right? So exactly, that not, yeah. exactly. And then when you fold in the butter into the flour mixture, you want to just kind of knead it in until you have marble sized pieces. Okay. You don't want to work the butter in too much or you won't get that rise that you're looking for. And at the restaurant, is this something you guys serve? Because then we'll, we'll chop this up. Exactly. We'll chop the brisket up and put it on these butter. Yeah, so we're going to do sliced brisket in a biscuit with pimento cheese and fried onions today. <laughs> just, you may have to hold me later because yeah. I'm just yeah because it, it it smells really really good. All right, we're gonna put this together. I love barbecue. It's a yeah. good day for it. We'll we'll, uh, we'll put this together. Talk about the restaurant just a little bit. Back to you. Here, thanks to Discover Newport for bringing binge barbecue. Chef Mark is about to pull those buttermilk biscuits yeah, out of the let's oven. Do it. Yes. As you do that, Leslie Mir is here from the Norman Bird Sanctuary, and they are actually cooking for a great event. At, absolutely. Uh, we have, this is the first uh, summer that we've done this, Beach Bash. It is Thursday night, August 3rd, and it's a wonderful family event down on our third beach property. We own 23 acres down uh, between Peabody's and the third public beach. Beautiful. Um, right down near Second Beach. If anybody doesn't know who the Bird Sanctuary is, um, we are the largest area of contiguous open space on Aquidneck Island, 325 mm -hmm. acres. People know Second Beach. All that land across from Second Beach with Hanging Rock is, is the Bird Sanctuary. It's beautiful and I know I have folks coming in from you know all across the country, different relatives. They love going bird watching here. Bird watching and we have seven miles of hiking trails. We have mm -hmm. a 58 year uh, history of summer camp. We're open seven days a week. Uh, there is so much going on. They're a very, very busy place. And it's nice. Gosh, those biscuits smell <laughs> so good, they, they I have to say. Too. So we're going to be able to find them at the event. Exactly. This is, um, it's from 6 to 9 on August 3rd, and mm -hmm. there will be somebody, something for everybody, um, all yep. ages. Quahog All-Stars will be a band playing on the beach, so dancing on the beach. Very uh, cool. We're inviting people to bring uh, their uh, picnics, uh, but the alternative is binge barbecue. Exactly, Let them do the yeah. cooking for you. And yeah. when it, if it smells like anything oh. close to this, you are definitely gonna gonna want that. How long did you make the biscuits for? Uh, so we rolled them earlier this morning, and um, they baked in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. Beautiful. They are great, and you have that brisket too to kind of load yep. them up a little later on. Sounds like a great event, and like you said, a wonderful place, beautiful property. And really, you get a wonderful cause going too. Absolutely, a wonderful yeah. cause. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there'll be uh, dancing on the beach. There will be. Uh, it includes the beer, wine, dancing, uh, food, drink, food drinks for uh, activities for kids. Uh, people are encouraged to bring their paddle boards and kayaks. Mm -hmm. Although uh, Jamestown Out uh, Doors will be there and renting them as well. Great. Um, so a little something for everyone. On. Like she said, don't give too much away, though. You have to <laughs> attend for yourself to really experience it. And uh, we're going to experience more of this food when we come back. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen thanks to Discover Newport. Chef Mark Bryson's here. Binge Barbecue Buttermilk Biscuits is what we mm -hmm. have. But we also have brisket that you prepared yesterday, brought it in today. Now that it's all ready to go. And when you're cutting that, it's just like sliding, exactly. sliding right off that knife. Yeah, so you're looking for, you know, nice... Nice cuts here. You're right. looking for that moisture. You know, you're looking for that to be falling tender, pulling apart. Right. And quite honestly, that yeah. char on the outside is about that's what yeah. you really want. want. And a lot of the sh like I watch these, those barbecue shows. They say this is the hardest piece of meat to cut uh, to, to cook. Definitely, very temperamental. You got to be patient. You can't rush it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got to let it do its thing in the smoker. Right. 
All the yeah. more reason to let you do it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Just go on you know. by and see you and have you do it. All right. Yeah. So and that's actually what you do. You do a lot of catering and catering and events. Yep. We do a lot of a lot of this stuff. You know, drop offs. We'll come to your house with the smokers. We have a couple portable smokers that we use for catering. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yep. And then you said you actually have a. A storefront as well, yep. so we can go and, and have dinner or lunch there. Exactly. We're on 12 Broadway, Newport, um, 35 seats. We're BYOB, and um, we're open late nights, uh, Fridays and Saturdays till 2 a.m. 2 a.m.? That's Genius. awesome. <laughs> That's so fantastic. So smart. Yeah, well, we yeah. can late night bite. You're going to want something exactly. like that. So, so how far in advance, a lot of restaurants can cook stuff that day, but yeah. barbecue, you've got to prep a couple of days ahead of time and really start cooking almost the day ahead of time, right? Yes, yeah. So unfortunately, you know, it's not something you can just throw on the grill and cook when you're out of. So we prepare, uh, you know, X amount of briskets for the expecting to sell the next day. Right. Mm -hmm. And we pr start preparing them around 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. And, um, wow. You know, we'll get in in the morning early, four or five in the morning, wrap them, and hopefully they're ready for service. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so you really do. Got this plan looks in delicious. And you have these buttermilk biscuits that you made that you're talking about earlier. And yeah. you actually, you pair the two together almost like a sandwich? Exactly. So right here we have the finished product. We have a, a buttermilk biscuit, um, smoked brisket, pimento cheese, mm -hmm. and some fried onion strings to go with that. Wow. Can so we help good. you assemble? Yeah, can we make Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. And slice these up. You said when you're making the biscuits, the one of the secrets is not m mixing it too too rough, right? Exactly. So you're not making, you know, a, like a, a risen bread here. You're not looking to develop too much gluten in the in the dough. So you want it mm. flaky. You know, you don't want to work the butter in too much. So you still have good sized clumps of it in there, and that's what creates the layers in the biscuits Got to it. help it rise. So here, I'll um, so put a little just uh, a little bit here. Yeah. Put a nice slab, maybe we'll cut this in half. But yeah, as you can see, this is, you know, melting, still very moist yeah. is what you're looking I for. I like that you use that term melting. Yeah. Because it, it yeah. will. You top it off with a little pimento cheese there. Put this on. Pimento oh, this. cheese, uh, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, a little cayenne pepper, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise. Okay. And, um, you know, we'll finish it off with some fried onion strings. Chef, in addition to this brisket, what are some other things that you're barbecuing? So the ribs at the restaurant are fantastic. We use a, um, a full untrimmed spare rib mm -hmm. and um, you know they're a good size. You know you order a half <laughs> rack of spare ribs you know. You're gonna be full. Some a lot of most people are taking a couple home. Really? Wow. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, it's so it, it's it's tough you know. Um, you know the pulled pork obviously is a special you know we work with lamb shoulder occasionally mm -hmm. we do our own house pastrami which is fantastic it's wow. a little bit different than a new york style pastrami you've made him very happy <laughs> I, 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 I think i'm cheering up do you want to yeah. give him a hug <laughs> 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 we're not going on a vacation together but i'm telling you if you can make this i think we'll make good, it. Good. yeah dude good to hear yeah this is really good good awesome yeah, and i love that you for. guys are open late too wow. so plenty of mm -hmm. options there if you want this recipe though and according to will you definitely gonna want it head oh. on over to roadshow.com